<clears throat> well, another boring day in school to learn about the kid about artwork. But I know it's still early, but I wonder what they're gonna come in right about now. Why, hello, Miss Byron. How are you today? Oh, the usual. Just teaching kid doing stuff. Well, I mean, there is one kid that has socially been detention too many times. I see. But do you know where I can find a yard thing? I need mean, like maybe collect for flowers sometimes. Oh, it's right to the cafeteria on top of the shelf. Okay, thanks for telling me, Silas. See ya! That's odd. The children's not here. They should have been been here by now. Miss Violet! Miss Violet! Oh, what is it, dear? Miss Violet, there's a naked woman outside being standing up uh, in the grass. What? Naked in school property? I can have... Wait, did you just say being standing up? Yeah, Miss Violet, she was actually peeing while standing up. Uh, huh. Um... Are you sure that's a girl? Are you sure she's not like a transgender man, man with a girl body or something? Hmm. Hold on, I'll check. <whistles> nope, she's 100% woman. She doesn't have a, have a pee pee. She has a wee wee. Huh, that's odd. How could a woman actually pee while standing up? That's literally impossible. I mean, unless it was a transgender, but since she's a cisgender, also it's kind of odd. But still, it's very illegal to actually be nude or be in public. But it could, she could get arrested. I'll go there for myself. Thanks for telling me, Green. Of course, Miss Violet. Why do you got naked in public? Also, how do you actually pee while standing up without even dirty your leg? I'm surprised the leg is not stinky. Ah, uh, you see, it's sort of my habit. I do that every time in home because I'm not getting used to peeing on the toilet because it's very uncomfortable. So sometimes I like to go outside in my backyard and take on my clothes and do my business. Yeah, but still, it's illegal to get naked in public, especially when you're peeing somebody's property. Hey, you could have get arrested. I'm surprised that I didn't report you to the principal's office or else you get fired. <sighs> yeah, I know. Next time, I will probably use the toilet when I'm in public. Yeah, you better do that. Although, it's kind of weird. How do you even pee without even messing up? I mean, you don't even have a, a, a pee pee. <laughs> I don't want to answer that. Ugh. Hey everyone, it's Joshua. And I want to tell you, this kid is not actually based on a true story. Although it would be actually awkward if it actually happened. But no, this kid is actually based on a dream that I have from my childhood a long time ago when I was still in school. You see, uh, in this dream, there was this random woman, but she doesn't exist in real life. Like, she was sort of a regular, normal woman with a long blonde hair and a fancy dress business form. So what happened is that she actually talked to the teacher for a little while Still in my classroom. I don't know which t teacher was. It could be my male teacher or my female teacher, etc. Because I have different type of teacher because I have like three classes in every different week. Especially in Tuesday where we do gymnastic or gym class. So anyway, I think it's either from March, I mean Wednesday or Thursday. I think. So at the recess part, we actually get together in line. But what I noticed is, I mean, all the rest of the children didn't even notice that. Well, well, but when we actually got outside, we actually saw, saw the same wo woman. Only this time, she was completely naked. And what's kind of awkward is that she was actually peeing, but standing up, even though she doesn't have. Uh, the P word in it. She has a female private part. But, and it's actually kind of awkward. Although we were actually kind of scared, but she wasn't actually the only one because we actually actually see three other fe naked female on the other side. Well, they didn't actually see it. See, just like she did. And it was actually the exact same one. 
my butt completely naked. So what happened? Uh, we just actually ran to the other cla classroom, or else we we committed like uh, some sort of a inappropriate way. Wait, because that could actually freak out any children at all, at all ages, except for teenagers. So anyway, so I decided to make a skit based on the dream that I had a long time ago. So anyway, thanks for watching and good luck.